What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Monday, April 27th, starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. What is a volatility crush? So we use that term, volatility crush or vol crush. And so I want to make sure I clarify what exactly that means. So if we go to the platform, let's take a look at Apple as an example. And volatility crushes uh, happen on a consistent basis around an earnings announcement. So you can see right here, it's, it's indicated by the earnings announcement. And what happens is right before earnings, there is uncertainty, right? Uncertainty around revenue, sales, everything else. And so that pushes the price of the options up. That pushes implied volatility higher. And then what happens as soon as they make that announcement and that uncertainty comes out, so all the known factors are, are now on the table, that volatility gets crushed. You know, in this case, it went from, on the IV percentile, went from 73 down to 10. And that just sucks the premium right out of those options. So that's what we mean by volatility crush. Now that can happen around earnings, that can happen around other binary events. If there's some type of economic data announcement or some other type of, of big binary event that has uncertainty prior to it, and then has that certainty afterwards, you'll get that vol crush. And so how do we look at this when we place trades? Sticking with Apple as our example, the option Greek, that can be related to this volatility or the vol crush is Vega. And I'm not gonna go into all the details of Vega and how it works, but the one factor I wanna point out is that if your trade is a negative number on Vega, that means it will benefit from a vol crush. It will benefit from volatility contracting. So I'm showing an example of a short strangle in Apple. And so obviously we wanna sell these types of strategies, sell to open when implied volatility is high, and we want to benefit from that implied volatility contraction or from that vol crush. Now, if we look at a, a different trade, like a calendar, or in this case, a double calendar, now look at Vega. Vega is positive. So this type of strategy actually benefits from an increase in volatility and it gets hurt from a vol crush. So that is just two examples. And, and so every strategy, you know, in, in your brokerage platform, we're looking at thinkorswim, you're able to see what that Vega number is. If it's positive, it benefits from volatility expansion. If it's negative, it benefits from volatility contraction or what we like to call a vol crush. All right, so hopefully that helps. Let's take a look at just the markets in general, starting with our good friend, the ES, S&P 500, up 39 points. Market just closed a little bit ago. Dow up 339. NASDAQ up 53. Russell up 52. Look at the difference in the percentage gains here. Russell is up over 4% on the day, where NASDAQ is up less than 1%. So big move in, in the uh, small caps today. Oil getting slapped around again, down 23%. Gold pretty flat. And natty gas up 5.5%. And bonds down almost a percent. So some moving going on. Now, some of that happened overnight. And so it was actually a fairly quiet day as far as movement during the actual open market hours. But some of the other stocks, banks up big. A lot of the banks up 4 5 plus percent. The other big mover today, Tesla up another 10%. Let's see, where's Tesla? Where's my T's? There we go, up 10%. So just extraordinary moves in Tesla continue. And I mean, look at this thing. It was down at, at the bottom of the, the most recent bottom here is at 350. It's already, it's, it's over doubled. It's almost 800 and they've got earnings coming up. Speaking of earnings, let's take a look at what's got earnings this week. It's all about oil and airlines. So if we take a look here, nothing really today on Monday. Tomorrow we've got Southwest, we've got BP, oil company. Then on Wednesday we've got Boeing, our friend Tesla, Facebook, eBay, some tech in there as well. And then Twitter, Apple on Thursday, Amazon on Thursday, a lot of tech companies on Thursday. And then on Friday, another big oil day, Exxon and Chevron and Philip 66. So that's what's happening in the world today. Hope everybody has a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.